My name is Noah Burnamoff and the restaurant's name is Mile End Delicatessen. Mile End is called Mile End because of my love for that neighborhood of Montreal and the very, very personal history of my family in that neighborhood. I was a second year law student. I just really hated, hated my life. I started making smoked meat at home uh, as a hobby that um, led to me actually thinking through the idea of a Jewish deli in any serious way. New York's like the most Jewish place in the world, even more Jewish in, in many ways than even Israel. And it, it always struck me that all these well-represented cultures in the city have more restaurants than you can count, you know? Except Jews, we just have like three or something like stupid. And I just thought to myself, we should have our own restaurants, we should have our own cuisine. And, and the cuisine that everyone knows is sort of like this deli thing, but then we do you know, more than that at night. They're not dishes that you would find in you know, old time cookbooks from Europe or Yiddish cookbooks from the early period of Jews in America. You know, the cooking actually is innovative. I mean, it's not really something that Jews do. You know? Jews own businesses, we're professionals. We don't actually cook in this sort of context. The kasha at dinner is really, really popular because it's kind of like, it's like got this healthiness of the grain, has the noodles, has some meat in it. Uh, so it's kind of rich, but it's kind of light at the same time and somewhat healthful. Kasha is generally a pretty gross thing. Like most, most, people, most people make it and it sucks. <laughs> like my mom's, no offense to my mom. My wife, Ray, she handles a lot of our customer service side of the business. She does all the catering, offsite events. You know, we've been very picky with who we've hired as our staff, and partly because we, we care so much about the camaraderie aspect. All right, very classy. Cheers, here's the night. Cheers, out of gravy containers. <laughs> We all headed to Russ and Daughters uh, appetizing shop in the Lower East Side. I, I, I bought a Russ and Daughters t-shirt a couple months ago from them. <clears throat> and she was like, now you pay me to advertise this store. <laughs> right, I will. <laughs> it's fine. Love that. Yeah. Such a Jewish thing to say. <laughs> okay. Daughters. It's an amazing place. I mean, you walk in there and it's just like, whoa, this place has not changed in as many years as it's been open. I think it's been open 85 years now. And what's so cool is when you look up and you see the photos of like the original owners or like even the second or third generation owners, and you look at where they're standing in the store, and then you look at that spot in the store, they're actually, you know, it's the same products sitting in the same case in front of them. When I see that, I mean, it's just, it's just unbelievable. The history in there is profound, that's for sure. Our friend uh, Josh Tupper, who's a fourth generation uh, owner of Russ and Daughters. Let's yeah. go make eggs. So this is one of my favorite little treats. Caviar in a soft oh, scramble. Shit. We soft scrambled some eggs and threw some caviar into it and ate that on uh, sliced collar rolls. Mm. Yeah. That's it? That's where it's at? Uh-huh. I'd make you guys one, but I'm too busy eating. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Seriously, you should sell this. <laughs> this is an expensive... Uh, How much would it cost? 
fifty dollars. You have to cook it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, Josh, this is heaven. Yeah. Right. All right, we should have some shots. Yeah. We don't even need to do a shot. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks again for having us. Our gracious host. Wonderful. Beautiful. You already drank it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? You might have an issue. This is cold. It's called Devil's Springs. But it's 160. <laughs> Dude. 160 well, proof bottle to New Jersey. <laughs> hold, hold on, Devil's Springs is in New Jersey? Where else? Vodka is a typical pairing for a lot of the foods that they have in there, the smoked fish. In fact, a lot of fish is cured in a vodka solution. We did a little taste test of herrings. We did a schmaltz herring, a uh, pickled herring, and a uh, holland herring. Life is very good right now. We're, we're in the middle of Russ and Daughters, the greatest Jewish institution. Yeah. All right, Ready? cheers. Thank you. Mm. So after Russ and Daughters, we headed over to Sammy's Romanian Steakhouse. It's a really wacky place. Uh, the keyboard player, the, the whole shtick there, the dancing, the, the block of vodka on the table. It's, it's just like pure Jewish kitsch. Russ and daughters remain in the family, um, and it's gone over the years, it's become fancier and fancier, whereas Sammy's, it seems like, has just sort of devolved over the years into being kitschier, kitschier, and like just kind of held up with its kitsch. We ate uh, chopped liver, which was mixed at the table, which was excellent. We had karnatsalov, which is like a rolled sausage sort of thing with, with a ton of garlic. Look at this sandwich. A chopped liver karnatsalov pickled green tomato sandwich. Mm, this is phenomenal. There was a lot of vodka shots there. We, we consumed another whole bottle of vodka. We had uh, what Sammy's calls their tenderloin steak, and we really loved it. There's only one Jewish variation on the steakhouse in New York City, and, and that's Sammy's. How's it going? Awesome. Good morning. Good morning. Awesome, yeah. yeah. I'm David. Yeah. Noah. I'm the son of Sammy. Son of Sammy. <laughs> yeah. wow. Thanks for having us. Yeah, you're welcome. The restaurant's been here for about 80 years. My father won the restaurant a poker game in 1975 against Sammy. So there is no Sammy here. This is the Jewish... And is it always a bar mitzvah every night? We try. <laughs> I want to see the boys just... Come on, guys. Hey, boys. You came like you have to do it. Come on. Leave your... Leave your vodka. That's right. That's a Jew. That's a Jew, baby. Come on. He's walking towards the circle. He's still eating. Come on. Hey. I want to see at least 20, 30 people. My name is Donnie Love. You're beautiful. Come on. Hey. Anybody in this shit is too. Come on. Shalom. 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 Well, there was definitely some dancing involved. Shalom. Where are you going? We're going to Brooklyn. Okay. Okay. No, you're, you're supposed to say, ah, oh, you fucking assholes. Your ass is Sammy is just so insane. Woo! Any love for life! We started doing the Hora. He really was like singing there. Huh? Yeah, playing the piano and singing. And, and he was chirping us. He was like, look at you fucking Jews dancing around in the middle of the room. <laughs> it was awesome. Cool. We're gonna make poutine. And then we're gonna throw the steak 
from Sammy's on top of it. Poutine actually literally translates as hot mess, but what it actually is is french fries, cheddar curd, and gravy. It's, it always surprises me when people come in and they want like poutine for brunch or something. I'm like, this is not when you're supposed to eat this thing. This is total drunk person food. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna sauce this we're gonna sauce this bitch up. It's like the most gut busting dish. And just for the hell of it, I'm kind of thinking we should pour more gravy over it. This is as gross as it gets. And this is like a, this is like a Guinness World World Records poutine. This is Sammy's Romanian mile end poutine. <laughs> Why the fuck not? <laughs> John, uh, your poutine. Thank you so much, Noah. <laughs> so poutine is the go-to drunk food of Montreal. It's also like the truck driver food, but because it's such a unique thing that you can't really get anywhere in New York, or very few places in New York, you know, people tend to consume it at all times of the day, so it's, it's interesting for me to watch. <laughs> Shall we say Lachaim to uh, uh, Russ and Daughters and Sammy's Romanian? Yes. yes. And, uh, and to Danny Love. Danny, Danny fucking Love. Check that, put him out. Look at that, put him. Oh, too much wadki. Back to the water. <laughs> Back to water.